Hey, what's going on guys? Caleb here. So I've been putting out some thoughts on Twitter, Google+, but I thought I would do a quick video on the Moto 360, give you guys a video review. I've got some pros and cons, so let me just jump right in. First off, people buy this watch because they think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful design. When people see it, they notice it. No questions asked. However, there are some obvious flaws, in my opinion. Why is there this lip that curves into the leather, which creates pressure point, which then creates these little cracks that you've been seeing all over the internet? If they could have just not had that lip there, let the watch bend a little more, not having that pressure point, I think would have been a, a much better thing. And uh, I don't know if it'll show up on the video, but I actually do have a small crack. Reddit uh, had an AMA with Moto recently, and they gave some feedback that made me feel a little more optimistic they were going to take care of me, though. Uh, I think they basically acknowledged it, and they did say that it was uh, a fairly small group that had the issue, and uh, they haven't really had too many people complaining once they've gotten their second one, but if they're not changing the design, I don't see how that's not going to be a reoccurring issue. Um, but it's a beautiful watch. It's, uh, in my opinion, a heck of a lot cheaper than a lot of other watches that people buy. And this has a tremendous amount more functionality. People notice it and comment. They love it. Um, power button and timing. I've got a little second option or um, second note here. When I'm pressing power button, sometimes it brings that screen up. It's a little bit slow. Uh, Sometimes I press it in and it doesn't, I, like just then. So I don't really have consistency and that bothers me. Flat tire, a non-issue. I was quick to point out when the 360 came out, this uh, black bar at the bottom just looks terrible. Um, now that I've had the watch, it really doesn't bother me at all. So uh, I was a little surprised that that doesn't bother me, but uh, I would much rather have the larger screen of the Moto 360 than the uh, significantly smaller radius of the G-Watch R that has a much larger bezel. So uh, until another smartwatch comes out, this is the most beautiful one in my opinion. The band's stone gray. Um, the reason why I isolated stone gray, this is stone gray. It's not my favorite. I definitely preferred the other gray um, that came out with the earlier versions. Um, and the reason why, not only is it not the most attractive in my opinion, but it is known to be the most squeaky. So I'll, I'll see if you guys can hear this. I have uh, I've not had any luck getting that to go away. Um, Maybe once it gets broken a lot more, maybe if I take off the bands and recondition the leather again, but uh, I, I just, I'm bothered by the squeakiness of it. Uh, let's see, next one up here. Android Wear, better than expected, but needs more controls. So Android Wear is definitely better than I like, but like even things like this, okay Google, okay Google, like I don't need that to show up. I know I can talk to my watch and it'll do what I need it to do. I don't need that constant pop-up. Um, you know, when, I, when I'm using the app, I just don't feel like uh, there's enough functionality, enough tweaks. Um, I, mean, I even had to create an app. So like when I put my phone on the charger at night in the docking station, everyone knows it, it turns into an alarm clock. It's beautiful. But I don't like having the light on when I'm sleeping and I don't like that I can't shut it off and I don't like the risk of screen burn in. So I had to go and use Tasker to create this ambient 360 and every night when I go to bed I have to hit, you know, good night so it runs this sequence for me uh, just so my watch will turn off when I'm going to sleep at night. I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, that should just be an option in Android Wear and it's not. Um, so, but hey, kudos to Tasker for allowing me to create an app to do that. Uh, let's see, let's see. I put a note on here about the uh, limited functionality and third-party apps. 
there's not enough apps for Android Wear currently. Uh, I think probably my favorite is the launcher. Um, everyone I think is aware of Mini Launcher now. Um, it's amazing. I can't imagine using my 360 without that app. Uh, if there's one that I recommend to people they first install, it would be that one. I never use my voice, but it's very accurate. So, you know, a little bit ago when I said, okay, Google, you know, it pulled up right away. Everything that I've dictated to it, it's been spot on. Uh, when I'm telling it to navigate somewhere, uh, it pulls up the addresses perfectly. Even when I'm saying something like one weather, it'll actually put the numerical one and then the weather. It's amazing how accurate it is. Uh, I was very impressed by that, but I do not talk to my phone in public. I look at people and I laugh so hard when people see people doing that. Oh, and if you're one of those people that is wearing your watch and you hold it like right up to your face, you're an idiot. Don't do that. Please, just don't do that. All right, uh, let's see, Motorola Connect. Got a big update here recently. Allows you to get some new uh, designs that you can change. And they created one where you can actually customize it yourself and I think that's fabulous. So um, let's see, let me change this one up a little bit. Click update. And now it just already updates right there. Uh, so that's a fantastic addition. I like that update. Let's see, no real keyboard option. I just mentioned I don't use my voice. Um, I really wish I could use like Minim or Swipe or something like that. I realize I'm on a watch and that would be very hard to do, but for quick uh, things that would be really nice to have. It's IP67, but I am super paranoid about water. I've heard stories, uh, you can see the heart rate monitor going off now. I've heard stories of people having issues. I don't want to worry about the leather. I don't want to have to worry about water, especially if I have a small crack. The microphone. Uh, one person was saying he was waiting in water at like one of those like walk-up bars. Definitely not three feet underwater. Definitely not in the water for 30 minutes. Uh, he, uh, you know, had some significant issues with his phone after, or his watch after that. So uh, I'm super paranoid about it. I have to take my watch off every time I give my daughters a bath, and uh, I just wish I didn't have to worry about that messing up the watch or the leather. Uh, awesome for jogging. One of the things I just didn't anticipate. It is probably uh, my favorite feature. I love going out for a jog and having control and visibility of all my stats, music, everything on my watch. I never pull out my phone in meetings, at work, personal life, but especially now when I'm jogging. So, awesome. Uh, new ROM issues. Uh, every time I flash a new ROM, it just seems like I have to reset the, the watch. I really don't lose anything other than my uh, steps, which I don't even consider all that accurate, so it's not really a big deal. I just wish I didn't have to feel like I had to constantly go in here, long press, oh, it worked, good, and then go and reset my device. I just, I don't feel like I should have to do that, but I do. So now I'm kind of down to the yay, nay, or may, for like maybe. Um, if you want a beautiful timepiece, you want some functionality that you don't have currently in another watch, the Moto 360 is a fantastic watch. If the low resolution screen, if the possible squeaky leather, if the risk of a crack because of this lip, you know, all these little things add up to be too much for you, I would say possibly wait till the second one. Um, I don't think that there is another watch in the immediate future that's significantly better than the 360 though. So uh, I kind of favor more yay, may. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's my thoughts. If you guys could do me a favor, comment, share, tell me what you think, tell me what I overlooked, tell me I'm an idiot, I don't care. Uh, and if you subscribe, that would be awesome as well. Thank you guys so much.